Next is the policy, Ms. Albert. Uh, yes, you have two resolutions. Number one should be considered under buildings and grounds and not under policy. Um, and I would like to make a motion to accept policy of number item number two, which is the first reading of policy number 5120. Who said number one should be under buildings and grounds? It's not a policy. It is uh, not? It's a not policy, though. Why do you think I put a policy on that? They get recycled. Yeah, they get recycled. Are you disposing of property? So, uh, that, I mean, that's got really nothing. It might be an answer to a policy, but it wouldn't be under a policy. It's not a policy. You don't need two readings to dispose of property that's got no value. Okay, um, Is that the policy number on top? That's the policy that addresses it, yes. And there's a way that you have to get rid of You have to say that there's no nominal value to it or no value at all. What is a nominal value? <coughs> but it's not. It, policies need two readings. Okay, you would not need two readings to dispose of a uh, property you no longer need. Is this resolution the way it's written? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I believe we need a second. Yeah, I made a motion on number two. <coughs> on the first reading of policy number 5120. Need a second. Would anyone like to second? Second. Any uh, <coughs> discussion? Roll call, please. <coughs> well, before we vote, Mr. Um, Brother, yes. just to be straight, we don't have to vote for the first one because you only vote on number two. On number right. two. Okay, number two, yeah. thank you. Well, then, you know what? Then this should have been followed all along because I've done this in the past. So, you know, and it's always gone under policy. So, we change this now so I know for the future. Um, because we've done it before. Yeah. So, I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't, we don't Please need to correct continue. me, Rich, and let me know like, if I should put it under buildings and grounds or policy. Okay. Can <coughs> we have a roll call, please? Jeffrey Wolf? Yes. Howard Donovan? Yes. Maria Alvarez? Yes. Angela Burris? Yes. Donnie Wang? Yes. Paul Kim? Yes. Jeff Anarezzo? Yes. John Nelson? Yes. And we have to move on number one. Okay, can we have a move on number one, please? I make a motion we approve. Second it. Any discussion on that? Roll call, please. This was to move on number one. This was to move on number one. Item number one. Jeffrey Wu? Yes. Howard Donovan? Yes. Marie Alvarez? Yes. Angela Burns? Yes. Donnie Wang? Yes. 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 Nothing at this time. Thank you. I was going to add something to the uh, food. Oh, yes. On November 12th, Antonio uh, had a Korean school sampling at the high school. Both Mr. Kim and myself were present. Um, we thought it was very nice that Antonio did that. I think the kids were very receptive to the idea, and we're hoping to get more feedback from the children later on. I'm sorry, I can't hear. <laughs> sorry. On uh, November 12th, well, Antonium had a Korean food sampling over at the high school. Oh. Um, Mr. Kim and myself attended, and there was also some wonderful <coughs> people there. We are waiting for some feedback from the students to see how Antonium will proceed with that. Great, thank you. Keep us updated. NJSBA liaison, Mr. I'm sorry, Ms. Huang. Uh, nothing to report. Thank you. And any old business? Uh, we have some student activities. Oh, you do? Student activities? Uh, Thursday, the 24th of November it, at Fiesta is the sports dinner at 6 o'clock. The first, the first marketing period teachers conference at the high school will be Thursday from 6 to 8. And Monday. Monday. Monday? Monday. Monday. Okay. Yes. 
sorry, <coughs> Wednesday, I'm corrected. And uh, Lindbergh has a turkey trot, which is a representative from each class, male and female, in each grade participates in a race around the track. That's always a nice event for the kids. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. And uh, any old business? New business. I'd like to open up to audience participation. I just have, oh, yes. I just have one quick question. Um, the uh, Learn and Grow Academy that you locate for using the, uh, well, the school for the seven ten. Which school? The one on Fort Smithville. <coughs> Believe it is no, no, no. Which, which school? Which school? Was that, that, that's all. Very likely a high, high school. That's high what school. they've always requested. Yeah, there was no mention. That's why. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Do you know anything about the tutoring policy yet over at the library? Um, Melissa, I the, I might be best to answer that. And the policy is a library board policy, and I get to fortunately sit on the library board. So the policy is something that I definitely would love to speak to at the library board. I don't know that it pertains to the school board, but the quick answer for you is I know when it was presented to me, um, other districts have obviously created a policy. And it obviously does not allow them to conduct private tutoring in their public libraries. It becomes a major legality and when they are shut down in their home districts and they come to ours, um, I think we had to also take precautionary measures. I don't live here. Um, obviously, I protect any board that I sit on. I did, on behalf of the board, ask that any child that is receiving home instruction, any of our teachers who are compensated by us, do have permission to use it. Different from any individual of the community working privately in a public venue. I'm not sure that answers the question but it's a library board thing, sorry. Well, get, uh, from what I heard, Joe, is yes. that they're very loud, the tutors are very loud. I don't know, is, is it just because they're too loud, or is it just Yeah, I think that's a general... Um, <laughs> I don't understand, you know, because... I've seen always seen tutors <coughs> in different towns in Mobile, <coughs> Mobile, and, and they had tutors, and they used to teach kids, maybe they didn't have a place to go, so they did go to the library. I personally don't see any problem why the tutors should be allowed to go and, and help these the students. John, I have That's no, my feeling, my opinion. I, I'm not sure that it's a school board matter. Um, no, I know, I know that. I'm just saying that as, as, a, as a resident of town, let's put it that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess you'd have to go to them. Yes. Yes. Have you sending out a letter to the parents about the, the moves at this point or mm -hmm. not? I think the conversation has begun way before my public comment this evening. The conversation is all over town. It's all over town. Um, the letter to parents should be no surprise. With that being said, there definitely, definitely will be parent programs. Um, there will be open houses at their new uh, potential buildings. A lot has to happen, but I think the transitional teams will assist in all of that happening. Letters would be the least of what we do here. Yes, Anthony. Um, as you know, I am uh, resigning from my position at the high school as a social studies teacher. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, thank you guys for, for those of you that are on the board when you hired me, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity of uh, teaching your children uh, for when tenure came up. Thank you very much for granting it and thank you very much for allowing me to continue teaching there for the eight years that I've been there. I feel that I've learned a lot and I don't really know what else to say. I do say it with a very heavy heart. This is my home, it's where I live now, but uh, I do feel that I have a very great opportunity in Bogota as the new curriculum developer, and I'm looking forward to that, and I'm also looking forward to meeting whoever my replacement is and working with them to make sure that it's as seamless as possible. But again, thank you guys very much for allowing me for the past eight years to teach your children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Anyone else? I just want to say thank you again for your support always with the Italian program and our trips and everything. Thank you very much and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I mean, they'll send you both copies. Should we uh, close? Can we have a motion to close audience participation? Make a motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have. Uh, can we have a motion to go into closed session? Make a motion to go into closed session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. If you don't come back.